Okay, uh, we're up. We're up to Tesvav on on the on the uh, base. Let's just let's go over uh, to segue into into the daf. It's a challenging daf. Okay, we we again we saw a Mishnah. Mishnah said when the chinnis hanim, then the sheet of Rabbi Akiva midivrayim la madnu from the words we learn. Rabbi Yosi says amen amida, and then we bring in Rabbi Yeshua and and Rabbi Eliezer. Okay, so we saw the sheet of the opinion of. Of Rebbe, of Rebbe, uh, it's speaking, our Mishnah is speaking about what? About the Tumah Daraisa and Tumah Daraisa. So if it's Tumah Daraisa and Tumah Daraisa, then it, you can't compare it to that, what? Like the words of Meir, who said you can burn Tahira and Tameh together. <laughs> How can you give me a proof burning Tameh and Tameh to Tameh Vitar? You can't. So therefore, we said a Chiddush, it's speaking about Rebbe Yeshua, who's speaking about wine dripping into a a, a chulin of, of tame, and you're able to take a kli that's tame and be metama, a tohar dika truma, and from there, that mishnah in trumas, that's what we learn from, and that's where why we, that's where we introduce at the end of the mishnah, that might the Rebbe Lezer of Yeshua, because with the very mishnah of Yeshua, so it makes little sense to segue into somebody you're speaking about. I'm always Rebbe Lezer's taina, in him and amida, here is the hefs and the ruble, you can have all the lines going to be lost. Mashiach came and just to burn them together, so therefore it's not a good switch though. That was the opinion of Rabbi Rabbi Yeshua. Uh, excuse me, the opinion of of Reish Lakish, the name of Bakapar. The next opinion that we left off with was the opinion of Rabbi Yochanan, the Amoyer Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan suggested that it's speaking about Truma Tahira and Truma Tmeya. Speaking about and and therefore Rabbi Chanina is the Tana. Rabbi Chanina is the Tana. The three, the three is. Uh, uh, is the, the, the one, it's a three and a one. It's an avatoma that was matama, that's the raisa. But the three was tuma de rabbana. We said yesterday is we, we had a, a liquid that was matama kli, that was matama the food. So we said obviously a, a kli, well, a liquid can be matama kli, but therefore because of the mashkin of a, of a, of a zav, they, they, they were going to such a, such a tuma, and therefore it's the rabbanon. And therefore, uh, it's the two still is just as. The Rabbanon, just as you're burning the uh, the Rabbanon dika chametz in the sixth hour, because it's only us the Rabbanon, right? you can burn in the sixth hour with truma, which is what, which is tahar, which is similar to our Mishnah, which midaraisa, it's also tahar, and that that's where we left off, and we just said the machloikis between Reb Yosi and Reb Reb Meir was only in the sixth hour. When it's us the Rabbanon. In the seventh hour at one o'clock, which us the Raisa, even Rabbi Yossi would go ahead and admit it. We said we want to bring a Raya to Rabbi Yossi. We're trying to bring a Raya. So we bought one attempt to be unsuccessful. Now we're going for a second attempt that, that in the seventh hour, Rabbi Yossi is mighter than in fact what you could burn the Truma Taira in Truma Tanea. So where, where do we see that from? About, let's go up 10, uh, 12 lines up. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, make it 13. Lame Messiah, 13 lines. Lame Messiah, Ha Pasha Ifsha, Benifsala, Melecho, La Adam. Pasha that became Ifsha, became moldy. It becomes possible from a person eating it. By Kelv Yachalakal, but a Kelv could eat it. Mitabit to his Eichlin, to make a beitza. It still has a shame Eichel, and we metamit to his Eichlin to share the beitza. Then it's refesim at Tameya of a Pesach. And Arab Pesach, you can burn it what? With Tameya. So you start with Harry, you see, it's the seventh hour, you could burn it. So the shiny husband the Afra Baalma. No, there's no different. That's not considered. And I it's Afra the Alma. You have no right. Now, going back to the shot of Reb Meir. According to Reb Yochanan, Reb Meir is learning from Reb Khanina Saganakanam, correct? Guys, he's learning from Reb Khanina Saganakanam. So what is the uh, the flow? Good? What's the flow? Reb Khanin the Rayam Lamad, look from the words of Khanina, that you can burn Chumutmeya Tyra together. Says Rabbi Yosi, "Ena min amida umayda Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yeshua." Right? Now you have a problem. We never were speaking about Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yeshua. Mid the frame, if we're speaking about Rabbi Yeshua, I can introduce him at the end, guys. But if it's speaking about Rabbi Chinnis Kana Kahanim, you bring it in left field. Where, where's he coming in? It doesn't make any sense. You're talking about a person we haven't been speaking about until now. But it says the Gemara, "Ihachi my maida." Fred the Gemara, if you're telling me that. Reb Meir is says that it's with the frame is the kind of kahanim. My moda when it says over here that is moda meaning Rebbe Yeshua is moda. Rebbe Yehuda and Rebbe Yeshua are moda that you burn them separately. 
We weren't speaking about Rebbe Eliezer of Yeshua. Okay, so it's a Kavalga Kasha in the flow of the Mishnah, right? It doesn't doesn't flow into each other. Says Mahachi Kamal Rebbe Yisrael. This is what he this is what he said. And for the Gemara, here's the answer. I feel Rebbe Yeshua the Mako, even when Rebbe Yeshua was Mako, right? He let you go ahead and be Matama guys by the by the wine, right? He Mako betuluya. He was Mako in the case of the Chavius that he said you could leave open the Tamea. I will be the higher Tamea. Masha ain't came to hire Tamea not. I'll say to hire he was because he let you be Matama the Kli when the Yain was dripping in. Now, it's because Hefzid Merubo, you take a big Hefzid, but it's not necessarily to burn together when there's no reason not to. You know, you can burn them separately again. You know, Ari's bothered by burn them together, but that's the big spritz. You can you could burn them together, but I can burn them separately. So why not avoid the problem of putting Tuma Tyra with Tumuma together, right? You burn it, get rid of it. And I don't have any question that I was over on Mishmerish Tumasi, which is that what? You know, to go ahead and make sure that uh, that Tuma does not get. I make the culture can catch him. Culture can catch him. So, so therefore, that's what what he said. Even if Yeshua is makel, when's he make? He's only makel by Tuluya when you were unsure of the case of the barrel, right? Fred the Gemara, but already told you he was he was by, by the Tahira, by the by the wine dripping in, which was Mamish Shwa Tahira. He permitted it. That's the good Hes Maruba. But so that therefore, if Yeshi kind it, ain't a min amida. The Yitzushtel for Rabbi Rabbi Chanina is not a good Yitzushtel. Yachi Fred the Gemara, my ain't a him in amida, mido mido he. Why does Rabbi Yesi say, Amen, Amida, L'chayre, it is a very good Mida? In other words, it's a very good Sushtel. You're telling me that, what, that uh, like, like, it's only the, the Rabbanan, it's the Haira. If it's the Haira, it's a good Sushtel. So, I'm Rabbi Yemiya, Hacha B'basa Shinitma B'mashkin, Shinitma Mach Mesheretz. The three and the one, there's a three, the one is easy. The one is a meat that touched Navatoma. That makes it a Rishin. Good? We have a Shlishi. How did it become a Shlishi? Had to become a shlishi, right? So now, if it's the rabbanon guys, l'chori have a great sushdel. Nida rice, it's tahar. Therefore, from the words of Reb Chanina, I can burn what truma tameya in truma tahira. Good, guys, that's the key. If it's only tummy the rabbanon, and I'm burning it together with the tame, so therefore mida rice, I can I can ascertain that you're able to burn tahira with tameya. Because mid rice is tar. Good. <coughs> what, so, but what happens if you? So this shlishi is the machloikis between Rabbi Yosi and and Rabbi Meir whether it's the rabbanon or not. So here's the flow of the Mishnah. Here's the flow, and then we'll get to the exact case. Exactly. Okay. Here's the flow of the Mishnah. Rabbi Chinina says the three and the one, a shlishi and one, and a rishon. Midivrayim lo madnu from the from the words of Rabbi Chinina sagan kahanim. That the three, the one is a is 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 a tameya a navatuma, and the other one is the rabbanon. We can figure out you're able to burn shuma tayra shuma tameya. That's what you could do. Says Rabbi Yosi, it's not from the mida. It's not a good sushta, right? Umayda Rabbi Yeshua, and even Rabbi Yeshua, who said was makel, he was only makel by a suffolk. He wasn't makel by a to mamish let you go ahead and be matama. And if you'll ask you what he was, by the wine, he mamish was living the comedy. That was, of course, Hefzid Maruba. That was, of course, Hefzid Maruba, right? So now, question. When Rabbi Yossi said, Einam in Amida, why not? Why not? Watch. The Av is the Rishayim. The, av, the, 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 the meat that touched the Av is the Rishayim. The Shlishi is what? Got tummy the following way. It got what? Uh, uh, it got tummy because of a mashka. It got tummy because of a mashka. Now the question is, is a mashka metama tuma deraisa de rabbanon? Reb Meir holds the mashka is tame tuma de rabbanon. Mimela, it's min hamida, because since it's only de rabbanon, it's really tahar. And Reb Yossi says, no, it's taka vidaraisa the mashka. And mimela, ain't min hamida, because this is it's tame and tame. It's not tame the tar. It's not the, the machlokas between Reb Meir and Reb Yosi. It's predicated upon a shlishi, whether you hold the shlishi as what the raisa or the rabbanon. If it's the raisa, you don't have a sushtel because then it's tame the tame. If it's the rabbanon, you have a sushtel because the raisa is what tar. Okay, what's the case? I'm going to be hocha b'basa shenidmu b'mashkin. We're dealing with basa that became tama through a mashkin. Shenidmu mach m'sheret. That became what happened was a sheret touched the kli. A sheretz touched the kli. Now, what's the kli? A rishin, right? Now, in the kli, you have mashkin, right? What's the mashkin now? A sheni. 
The Shani now touches the Basta. So the Mashkin is going ahead and it's transmitting Tumma. Can a Mashkin tra- transmit Tumma or not? If you hold the Mashkin, can't transmit Tumma the Raisa? Ain't a man, I need it. You don't got a good switch down. But if you hold the Mashkin, right, is the Rabbanon, you have a good switch down. Well, says the Gemara beautifully. So, right? By Kachim, by Kachim. Kachim, you will. So it says, Amr Yom, Yehokha Basta, Shinim Abbe Mashkin, Shinim Abbe Machmasheres. He also remained with Tamei for a good time. Reb Meir Lutame goes according to his reasoning, the Amar, Tumas Mashkin, Lutami Acherim, the Rabbanon. Tumas Mashkin, to the time of other things, is only the Rabbanon. And therefore, since it's only the Rabbanon, it's similar to Reb Hanina. Guys, and since it's only to the Rabbanon, it's similar to Reb Hanina, right? And therefore, you have a very, very good truth shell. Reb Yosi, the Tame, the Amar, Tumas Mashkin, Lutami Acherim, it's the Raisa. So it's the Raisa, it's a case of what? Tame and Tame. And therefore, it's not comparable to Rebbe Hanino, who's only what? Who, who, it's not compa- comparable to a case of, of Rebbe Hanino. It's, it's, Rebbe Hanino's case is, the, it's both Tomei, the Raisa, the Raisa. So it's not comparable to what? To Tomei, to Hoyer, and to Yes, Chaim. The, um, the, the, the Mashkin gets bumped up for, for, for Risha, no? Not, not in this case. No, it doesn't. Oh, not when, no, no not, not, not in this case. So only when it's a clear would touch it, you know, like, but not when it's it's in the food stuff, not this case. Let's say you have a water on a on a water on a cleek, and the water on the outside, then the mashka to be the the cleek gets bumped up. But it could be macabre than that. In the common no, no, it's just a, no, it's 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 again, you, if if the transmission of tumor, right, right, is let's say from a cle from a, a, a you know the cle is tar. Right. You have now the liquid to even touch the cle, right. that doesn't work, that's bumped up. Right. Over here, you have a sheriff's touch the cle. All right, no, no, that no, that that doesn't get bumped up. I told you it, it's bumped on the outside. It, it makes it, 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 yeah, it, I'm not saying when it, it makes it tequila, let's see your hands. We drop all the rabbonon, all the rabbonon, your hands. We're talking about the rice, not the right. That's all the rabbonon. That's all the rabbonon. So you're saying we're saying the rice, right? What is the rabbonon? Then you, there couldn't be a shlishi. That's what I'm saying. No, this, what? No, it's no. That's not. No, that's this is transmission of tumah. That's not speaking. Yeah. That. That's a hekat tims where a, a shani touches it. Where where a shani touches it. I hope you have shani's not touching it. You have a reach and touching it. You have a clear reach. Yes. So now says says the gemara. Rabbi Yosi, so now that he, he's going through his reasoning. So therefore, it's very good. Rabbi Yosi, tamei dama tumis mashkin tamei acherim derais the tanya. Sophic mashkin. You have a suffix where the mashkin, the tame, a person that's tummy deraisa. He put, he goes ahead, he goes, he stretches himself out. You don't know if he touches a mashkin or not. Then that would be deraisa. The suffix deraisa would be tame. The tame acherim, but to be metama others. You have a stick, guys. On the top of the stick, you have a mashkin that's tame. And you have a whether it touched, then what? It'll be tahar. Why? Because that's a suffix derabonon. Because you hold a mashkin, can't be metama. Again, the mashkin to receive tuma zikh is the raisa. The mashkin to transmit tuma is the rabbanon. The mashkin to transmit tuma is the rabbanon. Okay, this this uh, this, this machlok is we have a question. Any just close by. Thank you. Thank you. The tamachim tahor the reme. Now, here's the the machloekis is depends upon uh, in vayikru yid aleph. Listen to this pasuk. For chol kli cheres and any earthenware kli, asher yipul mehem al tocho that a sheretz a dead sheretz falls inside, kol asher besocho yitma, everything inside. The soch of everything inside of it, yitma, their tame. Yitma, their tame. Now the next pasuk says, v'osos tishbaru. Now the next pasuk, mikol oichel asher yachel, any food you can eat, asher yavo alav mayim, that mayim comes upon, yitma, their tame. The chol mashke asher yishase, the chol kli, yitma. And any mashka that you can drink in a kli, yitma, becomes tame. The question is, fellas, do you say this word, you read it as yitma or yitame? If you read it as yitma, it means they will become tame. 
if you read this yit tamei, it can be mitama others. So the machloik is between Reb Meir and Rebbe and Reb Yosi is what yit it becomes tamei. Yit tamei if mitama others. So again, so the question is yeshem lemikra yeshem lemusayrus. So this is the machloik is, but this is the machloik is between the two. So says the Gemara again one more time. Suffolk mashka and tame tame. Everyone holds that a suffolk mashka that is a suffolk whether received tama would be tame. However, let tame to be tama cherim far. Different Reb Meir. The Chenoi Reb Elazar. I'm so Reb Elazar agrees. Kidvarav like the words of Reb Meir. Reb Yehuda Imer lechol tame. Every it's tame. It's completely tame. Whether it's what, whether it's a kli, whether it's food, the mashka is metama. Reb Yosi Reb Shimon Imer no le oichlin. If if it's food, then you tame him. The kalim, it's the it's the highland. So there is your machlaikis. Because why? That Yosin and Reb Shimon both say it's Tameyan for food. It's Tameyan. Uh, it's right, it's the mashkin is it's Tameyan food. So then we have Pshatna Mishnah. Okay, so it got, basically finished the Mishnah. Let's just finish the Gemara and then we'll go over it. it says the sub Revelaza Mashkin uh Isla Tuma Bailam. Does Rabbi Reza hold that Mashka as a shame tuma but Tanya Reza Aimer ain't Tumala Mashkin Kalik? There's no Tuma by Mashkin at all. So how can you say I go according to the words of, of uh, Reb Meir? Reb Meir? According, he agreed with Reb Meir that well, the suffix of Mashkin would be tummy. If a person sticks his hand, the tummy take a person sticks his hand or foot, and you have whether he touched the Mashkin or not, it would be tummy. But if less is now in the same breath, is saying there is no tummy by the Mashkin. Teda shari hey Yosef Yosef ben Yehazi is treda right on two things. He, he was on, on al ayel kamsa that this you know this. Uh, you, there are certain grasshoppers you could eat. There's a Messiah, the Moroccans or the Yemenites, they have a certain Messiah. I know of a good friend of mine, it's his grandfather, he ate uh, grasshoppers. Yeah, he, really. He didn't eat them either. No. He, didn't, he never ate them. Right? He never ate them? He grew a bad guy. He knew which ones were kosher. Right. Yeah, you don't, you don't, know, you don't eat shkit either. They have to be dead. They have to, they have to be dead, yes. Only because of Balta Shaksuk. Right, you can't like swallow a goldfish, right? Because he's about the shocks so not to say him. But so he was testified. I love that we go off in a tangent. Yeah. He, he was he was testifying that Isle Council was a type of grasshopper that was kosher. So that was one thing. Nothing to do with this Gemara at all, but of course we'll discuss it. Now, Isle Council Bachan, and Isle Council's Bachan means it's tahar. The Al Mashkin basement Bachaya Dachan. And on the Mashkin in the, the Mashkin basement Bachaya in the base of Migdash, that Dachan that they were tahar. That they were tar. They, so he said, so Lechaira, Rebbe Loz is testifying. So how could you say that he would hold its tame? He holds mashkin his tar. Says Mahanich Lishmul Damadachim El Tame Tumas Acherim. I will Tumas Atzma Yeshlem Shapir. Which Tame Shmul? What Rebbe again? What is Rebbe when when Rebbe Yosef Ben Yehuda said there's no tumma on mashkin? We can divide it. You know what that means? There's no tumma to do mitama other things, but it itself can contract tumma. So very good. Hello, Rav, the Omar, the Dochen Mamish, completely, Michael and Mema. What are you going to say? So, Amr of Nachman says, Rav Nachman, Rav Yitzchak, Achoda. Amr of Nachman Yitzchak says, Rav Nachman Yitzchak, Achoda. He's only referring to one thing. He said, Nechem Ledvarov, when he said, Letame Acher and Mistahar. Guys, look at the top line of the top line of the pot. Suffolk Mashkin, the Tame, Tame. If it's Suffolk, whether it contracted Toma, it's Tame. Letame Acher and Tahar. Regarding Achayim, it's Torah, Dira Rebea, the Chena Rebelah, so I'm on that last statement. On the last statement that what, in the time of others, that he agrees with Rebea. He disagrees in the first case because he holds it even can't be Matama, right? Fred the Gemara of Kidvar of Kamar, the Nefishi, Mashma, both things, the plural. It says, Chain, says Marakasha. Another, just this last point, guys. Before we get to the explanation of the Mishnah, let's just just fit in the f- fill in the blanks. <coughs> Look at we're just going through the first three li- two lines of the Gemara. Suffik mashkin with tame tame. Is suffik whether the mashkin received tama? If there's a suffik, it's tame. Litame acherim. If it's a suffik, whether the mashkin, if suffik whether the mashkin touched something else to transmit, then it's tahar. Divere mea. The chain hoya revelazo oime kidvarav. Mashma, he goes according to everything he just said. But one second, Rebbe Lassa doesn't agree with the first thing. He doesn't agree that the mashkin can be makabel toma. So how can you say the chen? So the Gemara says, you're right, it's a kasha. 
because he was only going on the latter statement. Because for Chaim B'dvarov, it's mashma, he agrees with him totally. He doesn't agree with him totally. He only agrees with him in the latter case about transmission. He disagrees with him receiving. They can't even receive Tama. Okay, now, what's Pshat and Mishnah? Let's just summarize, okay? The li- okay, the first Pshat we have is Rabbi Yeshua's Pshat, that's Rabbi Reish Lakish. Good? The second Pshat is that. The Chanina said a three and a one. Right. You have a, 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 a nav that touched a, 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 a piece of meat, touched him, it's a rishin. And now you have a shlishi. How did it become a shlishi? You had a sheritz that touched the kli, that made the kli a rishin. And the rishin touched what? A uh, mashka. And the mashka now is a shani. That mashka now that's a shani touched what? Kachim. That kachim now is a shlishi. Machloikis, whether that step from mashka to meat is the rice of the rabbanon. If you hold it's the rabbanon, then meaning in mid, 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 mid the rice it's tahar, then you have a very good idea. Or if Hanina is going to call him midivreim, when Reb Meir said midivreim lamadnu, it makes sense from the words of Reb Hanina, who said that what that tumah the rabbanon is is uh, you burn it together. So and mid the rice it's tahar, so we can learn chametz from Pesach. You can burn together. What happens if you hold that transmission of that step from, from mashkin to meat? Is there isa? Then you don't have a sushtel because that's a case of tame tame, not a case of tame tar. And Rabbi Yossi holds that, and therefore he said, Einim in Amida, the sushtel is not there. And that's the explanation. Okay, and, and now that's basically finished. That's basically the you know, finish with the Pshan and the Mishnah. So it's very interesting. You begin with Tumah Vitaira, and you know it's about Tumah Vitaira, and we're going to get back to Tumah Vitaira. But all it's been for the last two days is Cheshbin. All, all it's been is Cheshbin, fitting, plugging in the, the, the mechanics of the Mishnah. That's all it's been. I hope we did a good job. You know, we tried. Okay, says the Gemara Vaita. A lot of information tonight. Gufa. Gufa means now we're going to analyze a previous statement. Gufa means itself. Now we'll go ahead. And analyze it in itself. We're going to analyze the statement in itself. Kufa. Rav Amar the following. Rav said, Dok and Mamish. Rav said that the mashkin of the base of the that's the butcher shop at the base of Migdash, right? So, what, what are the primary liquids would be water and blood. Water and blood. He says that they're, they're tahar. In the base of Migdash, they're tahar. Shmuel Amar, Dokin Militamit Tumas Acherim. The cure from going ahead and transmission to other. Aval Tumas Atzman Yeshlehem. But the receiving Tumas. That they could do. So to transmit it, they can, but to be, you know, to be a, a quarterback, they can't, but to be a receiver, they could. Didle covered Yehuda Horowitz. So Rav Amar, Rav says, Dachin Mamish Kusava, Tumis Mashkin, the Rabbanon. He holds Tumis Mashkin, all things the Rabbanon. Now, so the He goes to Rabbanon, be Mashkin the Alma, but that's Mashkin the Alma, who be Mashkin based on the Chayla Gazer. In other words, guys, Water, blood, shemen, all liquids are tame, they're rabbanon. In the base of Migdash, they didn't want they, they weren't they didn't make the gazer in the base of Migdash. Just like in Schwitz the Migdash, we hacked the Chinik in in the Yom of Alayla in Wad in in Sechta Erevin in Schwitz the Migdash, there's different the Rabbanon to get in the Migdash, right? There's no muktza. I mean we were makbid, right? In the base of Migdash, we were makel. So too, since this tuma, right? This tuma. The outside was Tame, but in Mesa Nikdash, we with their Nisra and Tumma Vitaira there anyway. No reason to be crazy wide on the liquid in the Mesa Nikdash. That's the opinion wide of, of Rav. That's the opinion of Rav by Mesa So that's, that's Rav's opinion that it's not, not only it doesn't transmit Tumma, but it easily doesn't go ahead and get Tumma itself. What about Shmuel? What does Shmuel hold? <laughs> Shmuel, Oma Shmuel says, Dochen Militame Tumma Sacherim. It's Tahar for being with Tama others. Aval Tumas Atzman Yeshlehem. But its own Tumit does have. Why? Kasova Tumit's Mashkin Atzman der Raisa, right? The Tuma to receive itself is der Raisa, the Tami Acher and the Rabbanon. The Chigaz Rabbanon, the Mashkin the Alma, the Mashkin the Mitchayo Loy Gazer. But when they, but the one wearing the Chiloy Gaz Rabbanon, the Tumi Acherim. Aval Tumas Atzman Yeshlehem because it's der Raisa. Guys, Shmuel would learn the Lashin of. Yitma, right? Y- yitma, he would say, like, he would learn Yitma to receive Tuma, but not to go ahead and transmit Tuma. Right? Okay. And and and, and Rab would say it's, it's the Rabbanon. Tumas Mash completely, it's the Rabbanon. Yeah. 
When you come up in front of a papa, Rami lay, yes, in the following stira. The Shmuel really say that it's pure for me for transmitting Tuma. I will tumus atzman yeshlehem. Kori kan, the abasa ashayiga bechol tamei, lo yeachel. Basa ashayiga bechol tamei, lo yeachel. Let's see Rashi here. What does what does Rashi say? Korikan, Babasha Shayiga, when he the maskin lay metama oichlin the chulin, Miu Gabi Kachima Shayiga behold Tomic said. By Kachim, it says that anything touches it. The Kimidam and Maskin with Tamay made the rice a lot smon, but the Kodesh Nagay behen, Harry Nogabitome. You shmuel a maskin that mash that that um, that a maskin is Tome itself, correct? Good, that's what you said, yeah? A maskin in basement of the Chaya, the dam that's there is Tome itself. The, the, the water there, it's Tame itself. You're masking. But it says it can't transmit Tama. What do you do with this Pasuk? That Basar Shayiga Bechol Tame, and Basar that touches Bechol Tame, Lo Yeachel. But why not? Meaning, if it touches Mashkin, you what? Could you eat it? If it doesn't transmit Tama, you should be able to eat it. But what does it say over here? Lo Yeachel. We're asking, we're asking Kasha and Shmuel. What are we saying, guys? Guys, we're asking Kasha and Shmuel. Right? <laughs> It says in the, the Pasuk, and Basar of Kachim, that touches anything that's Tameh, you can't eat. So what would happen if the meat would touch a mashka? What would the din be? You can't eat it. What does Shmuel say? doesn't transmit Tumor, so why can't you eat it? That's the problem. Perhaps it's like what? A Ravi B'Kodesh. That's Rashi. Midi da Ravi B'Kodesh. Tuhu Asma Pasal. Ve'ena Mitama Kodesh. Maybe it's it's what? It's a ravi. Doesn't go any farther than that. It stops right there. So too, the the mashka will be the same thing. It receives tuma, but it doesn't go beyond that. It does, you know, it stops. It doesn't go. Just like a ravi, the level of ravi by Kachim stops. So too mashka, it's it would stop. It, it's tame. In other words, it's tame, but it can't transmit tuma. Just like a ravi by Kachim doesn't transmit. So to a mashka, even when it's tame, whatever it's tame, it doesn't transmit with the rice. Touch what? Mashka, mashka. It does not not, not matam you. Oh, even it's not matam you. Mashka Ravashi Ravi B'Kodesh Lo Ikri Tame Hai Ikri Tame. What are you talking about? What mashka? That doesn't. It's not called tame. Here it says a basha shiga b'chol tame. We call it tame. Guys, look at the pasuk. The basha of kodesh a shiga b'chol tame. That touch a mashka that's called tame lo yachol you can't eat. What are you saying? It's like Revi B'Kodesh. <laughs> Revi B'Kodesh, we don't call Tomei. The Mashka we're calling Tomei. So what are you telling me, Shmuel? How can you answer Shmuel like that? What says Kasha? It says, It says, B'chol Mashka Asher Yishasa, and any Mashka that you can drink, B'chol Kli, in any Kli, Yitma. It's Tomei. Kasha and Rav, guys. Now, I, read you, I read you that Pasuk. I read Perik Yid Aleph. I read the Pasuk to you. Pasuk. Now, you know, I don't have the new Gemaras with the sucking inside, like, you know, like normal people. Yeah, but Rose is white. You're saying, what's that? What's the sucking inside? I know. <laughs> uh, Rose is white. This is the Pentateuch. It's, it's, it's one of the five books of Moses, you know? And we'll re- we're in Leviticus. We're in Leviticus chapter 11. I'm going chapter 11. No, chapter 11. Okay, why does it say, guys? Pasuk Lamed Gimel, Lamed Dalit. You call the oichel asher yachel any food that you could eat. Asher yavo alav mayim yitma. It is that mayim. It was it was had echsher for tuma. It's tamei. Bechol mashke asher yishase. Bechol kli yitma. Now Rab says it doesn't even receive tuma. It's lachayra mafurish a pasuk in the Torah that it does receive tuma. The whole mashka she yishasa, the whole kli yit ma. It is tame. What? How can I say? Therefore, the mashka does not makabel tuma. And for the Gemara, ma yit ma. You know what hit means? It means hechsher, right? It means it's hechsher to go ahead and transmit tuma. Says Rashi, ma yit ma hechsher. For hachi kama, 
anything that's in the pat mitma. Any food that the water came upon. Not only water, any 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 mashke. that you drink. The whole kli have a hechsha v'yitma. A oichel machmas avik lucheres tamei. So if you have a foodstuff that's prepared by a liquid and it's in a kli cheres and there's a and there's a a sheretz that falls in the air space, it's tamei. But the mashke is not tamei. We're talking about its capacity to go ahead and prepare it. Machshirin. Machshirin. It's almost sechta machshirin. The last mesechta in 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 in, in Tyrus, right? Machshirin. So it says machshirin, it's machshirin. So therefore, Rav has held serve. It, it itself is not mekabel toma. It has the capacity to transmit, not transmit toma, right? It doesn't doesn't transmit, and it itself doesn't doesn't come tome. It has the capacity to prepare a solid food. It has the ability to prepare a solid food for it to go ahead and and, and become tummy. Says the Gemara Vaita, another question. Right, and so the the beginning of it says Ashayipolov. Anything that what that Ashayipolov. So if the beginning is speaking about Mayim that fell on food, how can the Mashke at the end be speaking about Mayim that fell on food? Again, the beginning of the pasuk. Right, so that's speaking about hachshara preparation. So if that's speaking about the preparatory stage. How can the latter part be? It's a waste to say it's speaking about the preparatory stage. One says no. One is teaching me that water that's disattached from its source, and the other one's teaching me a feel that's in its source. Let's say it's in its, it's a it's a pit. It's in its pit. The three you need to tell me both that they they that they machshir. When you drew it out of the pit, you gave you chashivas, so you're going to drink it. But what? When they are what? In the water, when they're connected. Because since they stay in one place, they're not transmitted. The fact that they're stationary gives it chashivas. Which are disconnected, which you can move around. I'd say maybe not. Maybe that's not chashiv enough to be chashiv. So you need to tell me both. But it's not a kabbal tuma. It can prepare food, but it's not a kabbal tuma. Rav has held serve. Again, Machlekes like Rav and Shmuel. Rav says mashka is not a kabbal tuma, and it doesn't transmit, and certainly doesn't transmit tuma. Shmuel says what? Not only does it it, do, it does it doesn't transmit tuma, but it is a kabbal tuma. Okay, that's Hashma. It says Achma Yon Ubar Mikva Mikva Mayim. The pasuk says a mayan a, a, a fountain, a subterranean fountain. Who like you know with flowing spring, ubar and a, a, a pit with gathered water, mikvah mayim a gathering of water, yietara, yietar should be tahar, mashma. The reason it's tahar is because it's connected to the ground. By the time it wasn't connected to the ground, it's alluding that it should be tahar. And why does Rav hold? Which it's not. That's kashanah. It's kashanah. There was the hector here is it's mechubat to the ground. Mashma, it's not mechubat to the ground. Good. You know what it means? It's not going in the water. It means it's going on the person. The person who immerses himself in it will be tahar. Right? But it's not going on the water itself. The water itself, either it's even if it's out of the ground, it's tahar. The water itself, even because Rav holds again that mashka cannot be received tuma. Fred Gemara now going back. Utlishin mi machshirin. Can tulushin be machshir? Rashi says amayim. Who? It's going on mayim. The metama. In other words, tolution mi machshire is going on mayim. That is, he mishum the mayim tolution like chashivi. Avol sham mashkin loy other mashkin not. He's only going on mayim. So it's not tolution mayim mi machshirin. Bam Rabbi Yosef Ben Chanina mashkin based on bechaya the the water and the dam of the butcher shop. Not alone, not alone, not enough that they are tahar. They're not machsher. Then the mayim, the mayim would be machsher. So how can you tell me, guys? You told me mayim is machsher, right? All over, mayim is machsher. Good. We go, we go to the base mit nechaya and we say the water there is not machsher. Why not? So the material dam, no dam, right? Um, dam is not machsher. If the dam. Guess there are seven liquids. If they fall on a foodstuff, 
it, it's Mach Machsha. The, the acronym for remembering is Yad Shochat Dam. Okay, let's go through it. Yad, Yud is Yayin, right? Yad. Dalid is, is Devash, right? Is Devash. Shin is Shemen. Ches is Cholov. Tes is Tal. Dam <coughs> is Dam. And Mem is Mayim. Good. So those are the seven. That, those are the seven liquids. So now you're telling me that water tolution is really maksha. We see that what it's not only enough that it's tahar, but it's also not maksha. So the mash is taking well dam. That goes on dam. Now, dam regular dam is maksha, but dam of a carbon is not. How do you know dam of is a maksha? Shnemar al arts tish bechenu kamayim. You should go ahead and and uh, the dam should spill on the ground. That's dam midarshin dam shenishpach kamayim dam that spills on the ground machsher dam that spills on the ground has the capacity to go ahead and prepare a food to be tamei dam shenu nishpach kamayim guys the dam of a carbon you're catching in a cleat there are, again we 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 mentioned more than once the four abaytus of dam is shchita kabbalas hilacha and zrika in other words you shech the animal you receive it in a cleat you walk it over to mizbeach and you spritz so now. So it's not it's not going to go on the ground. So therefore, dam of what of the dam of a carbon is not machshir. Dam she nishba kamayim in a machshir. It's maskalur of shmuel barami haridam atamsis. When you go ahead and, and do a shchita, the first thing before the dam nefesh shoots out is a trickle of blood. <coughs> That's called dam atamsis. At the end, when all the blood is shooting out, the end is also called dam atamsis. That dam is not maksha because the animal's life is not dependent upon it. So that uh, says the If that's the case, if your criteria for blood is dam that goes on the ground, if that's the case, the dam that falls out, that, that drips on the ground, is not maksha. So I'm a lay rabbi Seira. Forget about kachim, even by chul and dam atamsis is not considered dam. So Kibbutz Meir Rav Shmuel Bar Ami, by the the shot in Rabbi Yisera, why do we say dam of chulin is not what machsher? Why is dam of chulin a machsher? The Amar Achmona Rak Chazak lebilti ochel adam, right? Be strong. The bilti ochel as adam to be blood. Ki adam hu a nefesh. Because the dam is what is the nefesh of an animal. The dam dam it's a nefesh right about kari dam. The dam that the nefesh of the animal is dependent upon is called dam. Dam she ain't a nefesh right about ain't a kari dam. It's not called dam. So in Amachlaikas so far, Rav and Shmuel, he asked on Shmuel, he'll serve, he asked on Rav. Again, Rav saying, all <coughs> mashkin awat are tohar, they're not the Kabbal Tuma, and they don't transmit Tuma, he's held serve. Tashma, we're going to ask on Rav again. Dam shenitma, dam that became Tomei, his zarku, right? And the, and the, and the, Kayen did Srika, bis shaygeg, if he did shaygeg, hurtsa, the carbon is accepted. Bimezid, loy hurtsa, if you did b'meizid, right, lo It's it's not hortza. Uh, for carbon, the lotion that, that the Gemara uses and the Torah uses is yeratza. Yeratza means uh, an acceptance. Your carbon will be accepted. The if dam is tame or anything is tame of a carbon, there's an amazing thing. The client wears something on the spiral called a tzitz. Nezer Hashem. It's kodesh Hashem and it's called the Nezer Kodesh. That that article of clothing made the made the carbonist mutza. Here's your problem. What did Rav say? Can dam be makabel tuma? Dam based from b'chai, not makabel tuma, right? What did it say over here? Dam shenit ma v'zarku. But you told me dam can't be tummy, right? So how can you do a zrik on dam that's tummy? There is no tummy to get dam. That's the kashan Rav. Because it always kashan. No, no, <laughs> no. It, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. And for the gemara mid rabbanon, it's only tummy rabbanon. Who'd like Rabbi Yosef and Yehuda? He's straight there. Not like Yosef ben Yosef, he's straight there, says, I feel the Rabbanan not. Toshma, another kasha on Rav. Almat sits meratze. Why does the tzitz make acceptance, as I just mentioned to you? Why does the tzitz make accepted? Al hadam, on dam, fell a basar, and basar became tamay. Pashtus dam that became tamay. Al ha chelev, and chelev that became tamay. Shenitma, be mishayi, be mishayi, be mishayi, be mishayi, be mishayi, be mishayi, be whether the carbon is a carbon yachid or a carbon tziba. How do we begin? We said dam that received toma, right? It's kash on rav that says that what that that doesn't receive toma. Right? Good. Toshma. 
I like this one. The Nasa Aaron es oven hakotshim, and Aaron is going to go ahead, and he's going to carry the oven of of, of kotshim. Right? What, what did he do? The carbon is accepted as a result of the tzitz. The Nasa Aaron is oven hakotshim. The tzitz is going to make the carbon accepted. The chiesa oven who nice es oven. What? 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 Exactly, is he going ahead and carrying? What Avera is he mechaper for? Okay, that's, there are different sulim and carbon guys. That's right. Little, little <coughs> idea. There's a car, there's there's in the four avodas adam in the shechita in the kabbalah in the halacha of the srika. If you have a machshava to do it a different day, if you have a machshava to do it a different day, that's called a shechita chutzlis man. The Torah calls that pigel. Hey, you gimel vav lamid pigel, and if anyone eats that carbon, the chayav karis. If he has the machshava to do it in a different place, not in the right place, it's called pigel, but it's not machayav karis. Good. The Torah over here is going to call pigel. It's going to be chutz l'makayim and nicer leftover, which usually means the carbon out of its man. Over here means pigel shaloy bismanay, and the nicer means pigel shaloy bismanay. So now says the Gemara with that in mind. If it's going to be forgive for the oven pigel, it says it says it won't be accepted. In other words, do not go ahead. You, you can't fix the pigel. guys. You, you can't fix it. That's it. So you can't tell me that sits is going to make it accepted because it says pigel is not accepted. Again, it's not accepted. Continuing on, im oven nicer. If it's pigel of chutz lezman, harik fan nemar lo yechoshev. It's not considered, meaning the tzitz can't be meratzah on it. So what is left for the tzitz to be meratzah on? If it's not pigel, what is? Ha'enu noisel oven tuma. Right, it's only going ahead and forgiving the avera of tuma. Shochutro mechlala b'tzibur, fellas. If the tzibur is tummy or most of the kahanim tummy, you can bring you can bring a carbon with tuma. Tumas Hutra Bitsiba. Tumas Hutra Bitsiba. One of the you know one of the more famous questions asked by Hanukkah, guys, Hanukkah, we say Tumas Hutra Bitsibar. So why weren't they able to go ahead and use the oil that they found that was Tame? If Tumas Hutra Bitsiba, they should be able to use the Tame to go oil. There are many Turutsim, it's Pana Yeshua's Kasha. There are many Turutsim. One famous question is usually you could, but since it was the Hanukkah Samis Bea, I'm annoyed with the first time you're doing it, they want to be Mahadad, they want to be Mahadran, they want to do it the right way. But again, it's the same concept. So over here, the only Avera that you could be Maratza for is Tumah, and they're obviously going to be going in Dam as well. My love, Tumah's Dam, that's, that it's going in Tumah's Dam, and Kashan Rav, who said that what, that, that Dam is not Tame. No, I'm going to pop a Tumah's Kamatsan, the Tumah of, of, of the Koinitz. In the carbon mincha fellas, in place of the shrita, you take you would do what, what you would take your hand and go like this, go like this and like this, and whatever's found in between my three fingers, you would go to put it in a clee. That clee would go, you would put it on the mispeach. That's like the dam on the mispeach. So if that became tame and you brought the carbon, the sits would be maratza on that. That can be makabel tuma, but the dam it's unnecessary because dam cannot be makabel tuma. Okay, let's let's finish up. Tashma. We're discussing Chagai. He's checking the Kahanim out. The Kahanim came back after they were in Golis Bowl for 70 years. They hadn't been Noye Tumi retired by Kachim for 70 years. And Chagai is going ahead and testing them if they know the halacha of Ad of Tumi Vataira before they go to work. So, Hey Nisa Ish Basa Kaidesh, Bechnaf Big Doi. A man is carrying Basa Kaidesh, Bechnaf Big Doi. Big Doi is referring to a beggar, and he, right? The Noga Beknafe El Alechem, the in his Kanaf, guys, he has a, a Sheretz. This is Rashi's Pshat. The Sheretz then touches the Lechem, the El Nazid, the Lechem then touches the cooked food, the El Ayayin, and then it touches the Ayin El Shemen. They'll call Michael Hayikdash, would it be Kaidish? So, therefore, let's go through the, the Cheshman. What is the, the Sheretz is an Avatoma? What's the Lechem? It's a Rishan. What's what's the, the cooked food? Shani. What's the yayin? A shlishi. What's the shemen? A revi. Correct? So he really is asking him, is there such a din as revi by Kaddish? That's what he wants to know. For Yanu Kahan Vyon Ruloi, they said what the oil will be tahar. The oil will be tahar. Right. 
Rav says, Ishtabish Kahani, right? The Kahanim blew it. Guys, is Shem in the Mashka? Is Rav said it's Tamei? He just said they blew it, correct? So Rav, Rav you, you're asking me, Rav said Mashka is not a Kabbal Tuma. Here, Rav himself said the Kahanim blew it. They are a Kabbal Tuma. And for the Gemara, Midu Taime Elul Rav, who's this whole Sugi going according to? And Rav, Rav Mashka basement the Chayatani. He learned Mashka basement with Chaya, the butcher shop. You don't have Shemin in a butcher shop. You have Yayin and Mayim in a, uh, excuse me, you have Dam and water in the butcher shop. Oh, it's funny. I have a Mashka basement with Chaya, but the liquids that would go on the Mizbeach. Guys, Shemin on the Mizbeach. The Menachas. Yayin on the Mizbeach, on the Nesachim. Shemin in the Nesachim also in, right? That Metama, that in Nechanami would be Metama. So it's not a question of Rabbi. It's not a question of Rabbi. So they blew it. Can I thank, thank you.